Hello guys, today I have with me, this is our very last guinea pig. His name is Steve. Steve is in the cone of shame because, I don't know if it's that he can't get along with the other two or the other two can't get along with him, but he has this disgusting sore on this side of his face. Um, and so he has to have this cone on so that he'll stop scratching at it and he's on antibiotic and bless his heart, it's kind of sad. We actually don't leave the cone on him that long because he can't walk. He's got like a body of like a corgi dog, you know, so his legs are short. Ew, see the wound? Anyway, if anybody wants him, let me know. My daughter says I can't get rid of him. No, but she cannot get rid of him. I feel bad for him. He is a really sweet guinea pig, but I can't keep him with the other ones, and I he's in a, just a cage by himself. Anyway, there you go, Phoebe. You are not getting rid of him. <laughs> okay, so I want to talk with you guys today about, um, first of all, your projects last week. All of those are graded in the grade book, and so are the journals. Um, I have a change of plans, though, of how I had to put it in. I think I told you guys last week that I was going to put it in um, your actual score and then give you leave and then leave it exempt. But the administrators, the principal said to just leave it exempt because it'd be confusing if not. So if you did not do that assignment, it's going to show as exempt. OK, if you did do it, then your score is in the grade book. So let's pretend that it says exempt, but you actually did the assignment. That means that when I looked at your assignment, that it wasn't complete or it wasn't finished. So then the only way that I'll know that you finished it is if you email me. So I can't go back and just check. The only way I get a notification is if you email me. Same for the online journals. Those were worth five points. Um, ooh, five. If you're done now and you were not done then, then please email me and I can fix that score. All right. On that one, even if you had some of them done but not all, then you did not get the five out of the five. Um, actually, you only had to have five them, but you know what I'm saying. So. Anyway, there's that. Um, moving on, and if you have any questions, of course, email me. Moving on, I also, we're changing the way that we're doing the Anne Frank um, unit as well. Instead of doing a quiz each time, we're only gonna do one quiz a week. So each Monday, we'll put out a new presentation. So this one right here is about the Anne Frank, Anne Frank characters. Um, and then Wednesday, there will be another presentation and on Wednesday, there will be a quiz that goes over this presentation and the one that will be put out on Wednesday. So this one, though, when you click here, I do just want to bring up, if it doesn't bring this up like this, if you click here, it will bring it up, okay? But this takes you to a bunch of different websites to go to. This is all about the characters and Anne Frank. It also has some diary entries in here. But there are different websites that you can visit um, that are really going to help you understand the story. There's not a task to complete today. Um, you just are going to be taking the quiz over this on Wednesday. All right. Um, what else do I need to tell you guys? I feel like there was something else I needed to say, but I can't think what it is. Oh, I know what it is. Your online journal. We are done with that. But if you want to continue it, because there were several students who were writing daily, even though I was only requiring a Monday and a Wednesday entry. Of course, if you want to continue that, you may. Um, but that's not something that I will be checking again for points. From here on out for the end of the year, um, you will just be getting a weekly score, and that is on the quiz that you take on Wednesday. I hope that's clear enough for you guys. Um, I hope you guys are doing well, and I will be talking to you guys soon. I hope. Miss you guys.